Hello everybody and welcome back, this is Old School Gamer here, we are back again with another video today. And as some of you guys have might have already seen my reaction video from either yesterday or a few hours before, depending on when this video is uploaded, but you guys might have already seen my reaction video to the ukulele's new trailer, Capital Casino Reveal Trailer. In that reaction video, it was so fucking amazing, I freaked the fuck out. I mean, I freaked out. Yeah, so now you're sliding. Yeah, I know all about this! Field. Dude, I am freaking out! This is the game changer! You go to the end, you'll see me hopping up and down in my chair, just freaking out, screaming, like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Now, if you guys, I'm going to tell you a little bit of information, inform you guys on what ukulele is, in case if any of you guys are unfamiliar with it, you guys are in the right place. So, ukulele is a 3D platformer that's currently being developed by Platonic Games and will also be published by Team 17. And uh, Platonic Games is a company full of a bunch of former personnel from the gaming company old school gaming company that is called rare which made some of the best games some of my favorite childhood games like banjo gazoo and conquer they also made grab by the ghoulies killer instinct battle toads and a few atari games none of them are coming to the top of my head at the moment they also made perfect dark and whatnot a whole bunch of good platformer RPGs and just fucking a whole bunch of other games not, not really RPGs but whatnot but they made a whole bunch of fucking good games a whole bunch of people's favorite childhood games Banjo Kazooie Banjo Tooie they also made Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts but like I said in my reaction video that is not an actual Banjo Kazooie game fuck that game he's throwing in trash you can lately originally started out as a Kickstarter back in May back on May 1st of 2015 but was originally announced on September 8th of 2012 fucking long time distance or time frame or whatever the fuck you want to call it in between 2012 from when it was first announced to when the Kickstarter actually started for the game but when Platonic Games actually first kicked off their Kickstarter they actually raised up to hundred and seventy thousand dollars only within the first 38 minutes within that Kickstarter starting and not even 24 hours later, I believe it was like 21 hours within the um the Kickstarter starting, they actually made over one million dollars. And at the time, I believe it still is, but at the time, it was the first Kickstarter to ever reach a million dollars for a game at all, for any type of Kickstarter at all, movie-wise, game-wise, anything like that. And I believe now. I believe, could be wrong, correct me if I am, but I believe it made over $2 million if I read correctly. I was trying very hard to find the exact amount of how much it made, but I believe it made a little over $2 million. I think it was like $2,200,000, somewhere around there. I, I do know it was over $1 million, though. That is exact. Throughout the game, you'll be playing as Yuka and also Laylee. Yuka is a um, or Charmeleon, and Laylee is a female bat that is always... Um, carrot walking or not walking around is always um sent on top of Yuka's head, and that is pretty much Banjo's Kazooie. How Zooie was always in Banjo's bag, and Banjo was always running around, destroying shit, picking up flowers, picking up uh puzzle pieces and whatnot, just destroying stuff, rolling around, destroying shit, r running on um Kazooie's back and shit. How he can like come out out the bag and he can just start running down down the fucking road and everything. It was just so cool oh my god I'm, I'm i'm freaking out on this video right now too i don't know why god and um and i'm gonna tell you guys the um pretty much the plot of this whole thing right here i have a whole bunch of notes sitting in front of me just to let you guys know that that's usually how i do my videos but um this is going to be the plot of it now but you can lately pretty much find themselves venturing out far away from home their hometown is called shipwreck creek they pretty much leave there to explore and find out all of the deepest and darkest secrets behind a business called Hyvry Towers. So, and so they pretty much go there so they can find um, a whole bunch of these pages. And these pages are pretty much these um, gold book pages. Like just regular book pages, like gold pages, which would pretty much, if you guys ever played Banjo-Kazooie, those gold pages are pretty much representing those, the, um, the puzzle pieces that are in Banjo-Kazooie that pretty much lets you, allows you to go off to the next level. You have to connect collect a certain amount of those throw them up on the wall so you can go to the next level so that is what i'm suspecting these pages are going to do these page these golden pages that are in 
ukulele are going to allow you to advance throughout the game go to different levels like you're gonna have to collect a suit a certain amount of pages you might have to like put them in some type of book or something I don't know don't know full ideas on that I will try to find out but probably they probably didn't release any information about any of those but if they did probably missed over it but whatever and they pretty much need all of these pages so they can explore the grand tombs and to, and to explore the grand tombs they want to do that so they can stop capital B and also dr. quack from turning all of the world's literature and turning it into their own greedy profit so that is really fucking weird honestly I don't know how the hell that's gonna work out but they're trying to take all these golden pages and I believe uh -huh, I'm so I don't I'm not too sure on the whole story here I should have looked it up a little bit more but sorry forgive me but babe I'm sorry but I'm, just, I'm, I'm guessing they're gonna take all these golden pages make some type of book or whatnot and just get some type some type of profit try to sell it off to some evil dude you know for a whole bunch of plans money whatnot I don't know now I don't know what to think I don't know it just seems really cool awesome concept the gameplay for ukulele is played out very, very similar to Banjo Kazooie since it is its spiritual successor. Which I've pretty much been saying that throughout the whole video and also my reaction video that I did that this game will be playing very, very similar to Banjo Kazooie. Yuka will be playing Banjo's part and, um, Lately will be playing Kazooie's part. So, Lately is pretty much the sidekick throughout the whole thing, his backup and whatnot, his helper. And what is also pretty cool about this game is that Ukulele will also feature a two-player co-op mode. I couldn't find too many details about it. Like, the details I was trying to find on it was that if it was going to be online co-op, like you can just invite one of your friends to come play and you help you out. Or if it was going to be like a local split screen or like you guys will be playing on like the same screen. Like how if you guys ever played Tale of Two Brothers, how there's just... You can be playing like two player, but you're playing on the same screen. You both have to help each other out trying to... I never played too much of the game. I played like the first five minutes of it. But I, I believe it might be something like that. How you guys are both on the same screen. Have to help each other out. On ukulele, I'm suspecting like the second player will be playing as Laylee. Trying to like, um... You'll probably have to hit buttons at a certain time. Help him fight. Um, help him get through platforming areas. I don't know. I don't know how the co-op mode is going to work out. I don't know, but it seems very interesting to me because I never thought that I don't I don't see how oh um, co-op mode would work out on it. But it's gonna be pretty interesting to find out what that's gonna do, how that's gonna work out. Mainly because Banjo Kazooie or Banjo Tooie, they never had some type of multiplayer. I believe Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts did some type of little mini game type thing, multiplayer. Where you guys can just like create your own car and drive around. I think, I don't think there was a multiplayer in that one. But I, I could see there being a multiplayer in that one. But I don't quite remember. Didn't play too much. I hated it. But yeah, but that's really cool how there's, how they're going to have co-op mode in there. Mainly because there wasn't was none in banjo Kazooie or whatnot. And it will also feature another type of multiplayer mode. Which is a two to four player local multiplayer with eight different mini games that you can play from so this is going to be local multiplayer i don't know if it's going to be online multiplayer or not i same thing as last time i couldn't find out any information on that part where there's if whether there's going to be any type of online multiplayer in this game at all even with these eight different mini games i can um i can assume that there might be some type of online play on here because, like, if not, I don't know. That's kind of weird if they don't add it. But then again, they might just be trying to go back to the old school roots of gaming. You know, just make it where you have to actually have, invite a friend over. You both sit on the, on the couch, have two different controllers playing on the same screen. I guess that's what they're trying to do. If so, hey, fucking go for it, man. I'm all down for that. But, and also, the release date for Ukulele was also announced alongside with the Capital Casino. A Capital Cashino reveal trailer it was um they reveal the the reveal the announcement of the release date was revealed at the end of the trailer and it will be releasing on April 11th of 2017 so pretty much here in about a few months here pretty damn soon real damn soon oh yeah oh, oh yeah <laughs> And 
and the trailer brings us into one of the main antagonists from the game, Capitals Beast Cashino, which looks like its own level with a whole bunch of little mini games and objectives from what it looks like. Like, I don't know, it looks like it's pretty much going to be Capital B's little casino. He has his own little casino. There's going to be a whole bunch of little platforming areas. I think I could be wrong. I don't know if that um that minecart section there was in the casino part. Well, actually, it was because the whole trailer was based on casino. So the minecart part was actually part of that casino level. So that's going to be fucking cool. And also talking about that minecart, we also did get to see some more of that minecart in action, which is awesome. And this is a really cool concept for any type of video game, especially platformers, which are any type of minecart type thing is always in a platformer. I'm not talking about no Minecraft minecart, that shit's bullshit, but I'm talking like actual side scroll platformer minecart, where you're having on the minecart, you're going down, you have to jump over fucking like the fucking tracks will fucking end you have to jump over there to get to the other side collect gems whatever if they had the um concept and um donkey kong country one i don't know if it was in the second or the third one because i never got too far into those but the second one is pretty much my favorite i played a good amount of it but i like how that one is better than the first one like that's a whole different video though but whatever and also how can we forget about how all the characters just freaking talks gibberish throughout the whole game they do not say not a single word like actual word any type of language or anything they just speak gibberish they're just like moving their mouths just making sounds just having fun that's how they talk that's how they used to talk in banjo kazooie and everything we found this out in a few trailers ago i'm not too sure much about the trailers we don't really they haven't really uh, released too many trailers or whatnot, and too much information on ukulele, from what I know of. But, yeah, but that's always... <laughs> that was probably my favorite part about Banjo-Kazooie, was how just all the characters just always talk to gibberish. Like, I saw that on the trailer, and I was just like, oh my god, they have this again. Like, oh, dude, like, it just fucking straight up wronged me back. Also, if you pre-order the game now... You will be able to play the sandbox type demo, which is just like a little demo. From what it looks like, it was like um, it looked like a level that was still in development type thing. Like that's that's what it looked like. Like I was watching um, it's one of this Xbox um channels. I forget I forget the name of it, but um, I was watching one of them. They did a gameplay I just released it today, and I was watching it, and like it looks like it was literally a level that was still in development but they can just go straight through it's a spoiler free demo so no spoilers are in there i'm guessing it's not even going to be in the game at all but this demo is sadly only available through a digital pre-order at the moment but i could be wrong at that on that but i do think the game is only available through digital pre-order at the moment but it will be available for physical release pre-order Sooner or later, so I guess whenever you pre-order physically, whenever that does come out, whenever that is available, um, I guess you will get the demo then, but I don't know, as, as of right now, from what I know of, that sandbox demo is only available through a digital pre-order of the game. The game is pretty much just going to be $40, which is awesome because it's not the original price of a new upcoming game like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, um, Elder Scrolls, Final Fantasy, or whatnot. It's not going to be 60 bucks like every new game that comes out nowadays. This is actually just going to be a straight 40 bucks. Like, pretty much it's an HD remake of something. Like, that's pretty much how they're treating it right now. Or, the Turtle, the Ninja Turtles Attack in Manhattan, or that new Ninja Turtles game that just released, that was real, all, that was released for 40 bucks when it was first released. So, yeah, that's pretty much what they're doing with this. And this game is also, is planned to release in April on april 11th 2017 for the pc ps4 xbox one and also the nintendo switch also it was first planned whenever the kickstarter first started up this game was first planned to, to release on the nintendo wii u but after the, the trailer release they did announce reveal a little bit of information about that that the game will not be coming on the wii u <clears throat> so it is unfortunately cancelled because of unforeseen technical difficulties and the developers also said that they are now working very closely with Nintendo to look to bring to look to bring back ukulele 
to the upcoming Nintendo Switch. So they are trying to work with Nintendo as hard as they can to try to get Ukulele to work on the Nintendo Switch so they can at least have Ukulele on the Nintendo on a Nintendo console, just like how Banjo Kazooie was originally released on a Nintendo 64. And um, the developers also stated that if you were one of the people who donated for the Kickstarter for the Wii U version specifically, and if you, I believe if you donate a certain amount of money or whatever type amount of money, you will be getting a copy of the game. If you did that for the Kickstarter, if you donated money for the Kickstarter, you would be getting a copy of the game for any type of system you wanted. But if you donated for the Wii U version and you wanted the Wii U version itself, you will be able to switch that out for any type of other copy on any other system for either the PC, PS4, or the Xbox One. And you can also switch it out for the Nintendo Switch if it does come out on there, which most likely it will. And honestly, it's not too much of a surprise that this game isn't releasing on the Wii U because I could be mistaken, but I do believe the Wii U did stop production not too while ago. Not too long ago, or they are they are about to stop production on the Wii U. So honestly, it's not too surprising that they that they're not going to release it on there. That they're just going to wait off to the Switch to release it. Not too surprising. But then again, that does suck because people are still making games for the PS3 and also the Xbox 360. If you think about it, like um Ninja Turtles and Manhattan. But I don't. I haven't seen any games released on there in a while now. I think they might have stopped. Not too sure, but yeah, but other than that, guys, I guess I'm end off the video there. I pretty much got everything that I wanted to talk about off of here. This is probably a lot longer video than usual. I am um, totally recorded for about 20 minutes now with some audio, but other than that, guys, I want you to leave your thoughts, comments down there in the comment section below. Are you guys excited about this game? What are you most excited about? Are you... I want to know if you guys are excited for those fucking minecarts. For those minecarts to be back. But I, honestly, those minecarts, I suck at those. Mainly because I am bad at platformers. But when I play Donkey Kong Country 1, every time it come to those fucking minecart levels, oh my god, I just could not get through them. They were just hard as hell. It took me like a million fucking tries, a million game overs just so I could pass it. And as soon as I did pass it, there it would not give me a save right after i beat that level so i have to beat like the next two levels after or like one level after just to get a save and you know i can pass it can't save but i'll start at the next level and then all of a sudden i lose all my life so it's like holy fuck i gotta restart it over so that's that's always my problem with those mine carts mine cart type sections on all those platformer games but other than that, guys, like I said, I'm ending off the video there. I want you guys to have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. As always, keep it old school, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, and thank you for watching.